and Meghan are said to have been ordered by the Queen to put on a show of unity together at the Christmas Day church service in Sandringham. Her Royal Highness and Prince Charles allegedly made it clear that any rift between the two duchesses must be kept out of the public eye as they arrived together at the St. Mary Magdalene Church. The two appeared to take the advice on board as they were seen laughing and joking while photographers captured the pair walking towards the church. A source told The Sun, the Queen and Charles have allowed the situation to play out without overtly interfering, but they both made it clear that Christmas was for the whole family to really come together. That meant the two couples walking into church together as the Fab Four just like they had last year. Yes, it was awkward and uncomfortable given what's gone on over the past 12 months. But the alternative of even more negativity on Christmas Day wasn't worth thinking about. The Queen allegedly told Kate and pregnant Meghan to put their differences aside by the time they sat down to watch her speech along with the rest of the nation at 3 p.m. on BBC. It comes as there have been rumors swirling for months of a rift between Meghan and other royals. Rumors of the feud surfaced when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced they were moving out of Kensington Palace to live in Frogmore House in Windsor. There were also reports of a falling out between Meghan and Kate during Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress fitting before the royal wedding earlier this year. It was also claimed that Prince William told the Queen that he did not think Meghan was a suitable wife for his brother. The report to come after it was suggested that the Queen was eager to offer her support to pregnant Meghan to heal the rift with Kate. A source told the Sunday Times that courtiers were eager to urge Meghan to seek advice from the monarch. Her Majesty has seen it all and could offer the Duchess some helpful advice at the moment, an insider said. Meghan would do well to nurture that relationship and pop over for the occasional cup of tea with the Queen. That is what Sophie Wessex has quietly done so well. It was hinted earlier this month that the Cambridges would spend the day with the Middleton family in Berkshire, and Harry and Meghan would spend it with the Queen. However Kensington Palace later confirmed they would be celebrating the day together in what was a show of solidarity between the royals. The royals were led by Prince Charles to the church at the Norfolk estate, following by his sons and their wives and the rest of the family. Daniel Chapman and mother Susan Chapman, 52 gave Kate a bouquet. Mr. Chapman, 25, said, Kate came over and took a bouquet and wished me and my mama Merry Christmas. We all said afterwards that there didn't seem to be the animosity that was rumored. They were all laughing and joking. There was no sign of anything untoward at all. Everyone was easygoing and laid back. Hundreds of well-wishers turned out to see the royal family but the Duke of Edinburgh and the Duchess of Cornwall were missing. Philip and Camilla did not join the rest of the royals as they made the short walk. It is understood the Duke is in good health and will spend the day relaxing privately with his family. Camilla missed an appearance at the Olympia Horse Show last week due to a heavy cold and is believed to be still recovering from the bug. Behind the lead group strode Peter Phillips holding the hands of his daughters Savannah and Isla and they were followed by Princess Beatrice and Peter's wife Autumn Phillips. A few meters behind were Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank, who smiled at the crowds as they walked towards the church. Towards the back of the group were the Earl and Countess of Wessex with their children, Lady Louise Windsor and Viscount Severn, the Princess Royal and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence and Zara and Mike Tindall. The Queen arrived in her state limousine with the Duke of York. During the service the congregation sang traditional carols O Little Town of Bethlehem, Hark! The herald angels sing and O Come All Ye Faithful. Afterwards the young royals went on a brief walkabout and when Meghan saw 17-year-old Jessica holding up a small sign with her Instagram username on it, Jessica Scarlet, she instantly recognized it and gave her social media friend a hug. The teenager, from Peterborough, described the experience as amazing adding, I started watching Suits, then I started following her on social media and then followed her acting and followed her humanitarian work, so I've been a fan of her for years. There were a group of us girls on social media she became kind of close with and interacted a lot online. She said about the Duchess, who closed down her social media accounts before her marriage to Harry, this is the first time I've met her, she just said it's so lovely to meet you, 
incredible to finally see you and she was asking how we all are and if we're still talking and supporting each other. Megan and Kate were given armfuls of bouquets by well-wishers as they went on a brief walkabout after the service with their husbands. Kate chatted to Jill Lee, from Cambridge, who has watched the royals attend church on Christmas Day a number of times. She said, I said to Kate were the children up early and she said very early, but it was lovely to see their faces. The 71-year-old, a retired seamstress, kissed Harry on the cheek a few years ago when he left church but this year he declined the offer, because of Meghan. She said, I said to Harry I can't kiss you this year, can I? And he said no and pointed to his wife. After the morning service at the Church of St. Mary Magdalene on the royal estate is a traditional event where they greet well-wishers. Back at the house, lunch is prepared by their staff and served at 1 p.m., and the royals indulge in a giant turkey, reared at Sandringham. The queen sometimes quietly leaves the room and lets her family watch the national address by themselves, as she views it alone to see how it comes across. Boxing Day when the royals enjoy a breakfast buffet of kedgeri, bacon and eggs, often involves outdoor pursuits such as shooting, riding and walking. Kensington Palace did not comment on the Christmas Day truce.